So the boys are off school today because it's inset day. I've had the day off work. Ian, the master of pieces, part-time eBay reseller. Only one thing to do. We've come to check out the charity shops in Newport. Got a Bob the Builder on the shelf here. He's only a pound, but he's in pretty terrible condition. Should have a few more of these tools around as well. Now I've already got one of these for sale, so I'm gonna leave this one because there's not really been that much interest in the other one. What's that in there? That's an England shirt. Come to Newport and find an England shirt. From 2007 to 2009, size extra large. Looks in decent condition too. Can't see any stains on it. No name or number on the back. The England Euro 2008 home jersey. Solds on this at the minute are only about 15 quid all in. But wait a couple of months until the World Cup hype starts to really kick in. That price should go up. And I'll be looking for between 20 and 25 plus postage for that one. We'll be getting this one. Now I don't usually go too deep into the soft toys, but I saw that. And on the tag, it is a 1990 tag, Kellogg's. That's Tony the Tiger off of Frosties. And he's still got his little scarf. He is coming home with us. Daddy! What's up down there? What are these down here? Nike Air. They're worn on the back though, aren't they? No, I think they're too damaged. I think they're too worn. Tell you what, cranium is always massively hit or miss. Unless it's brand new, I don't even bother looking at it because it's got plasticine in it. There's a content there, yeah, you see plasticine. Wow. If that's used, high chances that's gonna be dried up. Now, nah, we're gonna leave that one. Have a look at these posters down here, one pound fifty each. Thunderbirds, Chronicles of Riddick, Vin Diesel. Some throwback films in there, isn't it? Italian job, that's Shrek 2. Haunted Mansion. See, I don't know if any of these would have any value. They've got, they've all got, oh, Bad Boys, eh? Bad Boys too. Some of them have got blue tack on. They're all a bit creased and a bit tatty around the edges. So no, we'll leave those. But yeah, I don't know if, if that would be a buy. Tucked up on the shelf here, look. It's a vintage Digimon lunch bag. Well used condition, that's for sure. Okay, let me see the price on it. Ah, there's a little price tag here. 50p? We'll get that one. Well, I was just filming there, look. Tucked up here. Little Turkish Airlines bear. Oh, he's a pound 50. I will look at solds for that one. Because some of these air or airline memorabilia, some of that goes pretty well. So there's only one sold on that bear. It was brand new for about a tenner. Then there's tons listed up. People are trying to, well, people are listing it up for 15 to 20 quid. Newport County jacket there, tenner. Wales jersey, six quid. Newport, fiver. Premier League badge there. Man United. It's 10 quid, size small. Reasonable condition. Oh, Alexis on the back. He did not have a great spell at United, so we'll leave that. Oh, look at that. That's the Dutch national team shirt for a fiver, size medium. That is neat. We'll get that one. Look at that vintage Newport shirt behind. Badge is wrecked though. Lotto, nice to see. Total 90 shirt there, six quid. Pretty sweet colour, another United jersey there for a tenner. Nice badge on it. No one on the back. I oh, will look at the soles for this one. The 2004 Manchester United away shirt. 
tenner might seem a bit pricey, but if you wanted to buy this season's Man United shirt straight out of the shop, you're looking 60 to 70 quid. The printing on the front is absolutely immaculate. I've got this listed on eBay for 30 pounds plus postage, and I've already had an offer come in for 20 quid plus postage. Turned it down because I think it is worth closer to that 30 pound mark. And I'm tempted with this, another England jersey. Got like some Umbro taping down the size there. Size XL, they want a tenner for it. Thing is, well, there's no star above the England badge. I would have thought, it's got three on the back, Stuart Pearce. But I would have thought, if that's an official one, I would have thought they would have had a star above that. I'm gonna put that back, it is a tenner as well, isn't it? Whoa, before any of you have a heart attack, I went back and of course I picked up this England jersey. This is the Euro 2000 England strip. Doesn't have a star on it, that's what threw me, but England didn't start putting the star on the shirts until 2003. Now, the condition isn't perfect. There are a few little skags at the bottom, but nothing too major. And shirts in similar condition are selling for about 30 pounds plus postage currently. Again, like with that other England shirt, maybe I'll give it another couple of months sell it when the World Cup hype is building. This should be a nice seller. Good find. Two retro England shirts in the Welsh charity shops today. What is that all about? We had a quick rummage around these bags of individual toys. Nothing in there today. Something for you PS1 game lovers here. They vary between, well, they're all about eight quid. Crash Team Racing. Crash Team Racing. Medieval 2. Heart of Darkness. Lamp of All Time. Return to the Great Valley. And Medieval 1. At 8 quid a pop though. I think we'll leave them. A couple of wrestlers in there. 3 quid each. Undertaker, but up here, look, a ton of stickers, I mean, they're going to be no good for grading, are they? Maybe some of the Cardiff card show, they are wrecked, two quid too, oh, oh they're ice age, two quid. A couple of pairs of shoes here on the shelf, £7.50 reduced to four quid, look at those cat, they're not, well they are boots, but they're like shoe boots. Feels like they're steel toe cap as well. Definitely steel toe cap. They would brush up pretty well, I think. What size are they? UK size eight. And then up here as well, look, we've got some like school shoe style LS shoes. UK size 10. Juice down to three pound 50 as well. We'll be getting them two pairs of shoes. And I absolutely love it when my boys come here with me because they have just spotted that. Harry Potter Lego set, £2.50. Don't know if it's all there. Probably not. That'll be good fun to do. And would you believe it, it is actually complete. My son did this one, followed the instructions. All the pieces are there, including the minifigures. Should be looking for 13 to £14 plus postage. And just as we were leaving the shop, my youngest son spotted this little bag of cars here, only a pound fifty. Now I don't think any of these are official micro machines, but I will go through and check. You can usually tell because they've got a little Galoob logo on, on the bottom. But either way, that is going to make a really nice bundle. And tell a lie, we've just been through all of them. These ones are official micro machines. We've got some monster trucks. This one's really cool, the doors and the bonnet open. Now I do have a load of micro machines already, so these will go into that bundle and certainly they'll add more than £1.50 onto the value. Well worth the pickup. This could be a little goer. Paperbacks, 35 peeps. The Mortal Instruments. Now there are six books to this set. We've got four there. Book five. Is that book six? They could be going for, what, 11, 12 quid plus postage, something like that, if you can find the full set. Can't find the sixth. 
Put a 35 peach. Those five will make a good bundle. Check out these here. A huge bebop with club from 2015. There he is there. They're charging though. Four quid. But the thing is, they've also got rock steady as well. There he is. No weapon with him. He'll be four quid as well, I'm sure. Four quid. Eight quid for the two. Might be able to get 13 to 15 plus postage. I just don't think it's worth it. It might hang around a bit. Nah, we're leaving him. But these ones I will definitely be getting. Look at that. It's like a vinyl Mario, and that one's from 2006. We've got a little Ouija. Again, 2006. I thought that these might have been like bubble bath things, but they're not. Got a Yoshi. That's a bit scratched, but I'm sure I'll get the old Sif on him. It'll come out pretty well. And then we've got a Jack Pacific Bowser there. He's pretty heavy. This one alone will probably pay for this whole bundle. He's neat, isn't he? Little bit of Sif, and they come up an absolute treat. It's brilliant just with the toothbrush. Take off all of those black marks. Look at the Bowser. Stomach's come up really well. Look at this mask as well. From 2019. Venom mask. £4.50 though. Now the ones that I've sold have gone for about a tenner plus postage, but people have started to list them up for about 20, I guess, because Halloween's coming. I'm gonna leave that. I mean with Halloween, yeah, you might squeeze a tenner profit off it, but no, no, I'm leaving it. Let me run you through what's sold on eBay Monday and Tuesday. First sale, got a Monster Jam Monster Truck. This one's called Titan. Got a little ding in the front there. Bit of paint's come off. Even so, that's gone for £10 all in. Next up, we've got a Monster High doll. You know what I do with these. I pay 50 pence or a pound, somewhere like that. This is Claudine Wolf. She is sold from £9 plus postage. Next up, we have got a child's pair. Well, they're not. They're, they're adult size UK too, but they're very small size, and they really cool blue laces, grey suede. They've gone for nine pounds plus postage. Next up, I sold a pair of Crocs, and these are only infant Crocs, a size eight. I paid eighty pence for them. I've had them listed up for seven pound fifty plus postage. Some would offer me four pound fifty, declined. They then offered me five pounds, declined. They then offered me five pound fifty. I counted and said, let's meet halfway. Six pound fifty. They then offer me £6.40. What's, what's going on? Declined. They've ended up buying them for full price, £7.50. These are going to be trouble, aren't they? As soon as I send them, I'm, well, no, let's be positive. No, they are going to be trouble. They're going to be returned, aren't they? Either way, they're gone. Next up, the sci-fi geeks have been out in force because I've sold brand new and sealed Star Wars Episode One R2-D2 Puzz 3D Puzzle. Still sealed, see? Paid six pounds for that one. This has gone for 30 pounds plus postage. I then sold an Eagle Moss Star Trek ship. Can't remember which one it is. Does have a rip down the side, but I photographed that, luckily. That's gone for 10 pounds plus postage. And then I sold some He-Man Motu figures, three of them. I just bundled these together. That's Grizzlaw. That's Mechaneck, I think. You spin him and his neck goes up. Can't remember what that one's called, but it does have a little hologram in there. Bundle those together. They're not in the best condition. No accessories. They're really loose at joints as well. Look at them. They're really loose. £10 plus postage. I then sold, I bundled together two Care Bears. These were separate listings, but the buyer wanted to buy both. These are the ones that you put batteries in, and whether they sing or dance, can't remember, but I'm going to avoid them because they've sold for £12 plus postage as a pair, so only £6 each. I think I probably paid about 4 to £5 each for these, so that's just getting my money back, really. And the surprise sale, surprise sale of the day. These old school Disney Resort, Disneyland Resort Paris, Chippendale plushes. I mean, they're old, aren't they? They don't look particularly great. They've gone for £17, one seven plus postage. And now I thought I'd honestly donated all of this type of plush to the charity shop. Obviously these got missed out of the bag. Yeah, nice little sale.
And that's it. That's Monday and Tuesday. It feels weird doing a Tuesday video rather than a Wednesday one. So depending on how we go tomorrow, I might hit the charity shops. There might be another midweek video. If not, it'll be the boot sales this weekend as long as the weather holds out. So guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Catch up with you in the next video.